Well, let it be said that we here on Menzoid Morning simply cannot endorse the use of physical violence, except of course in a situation requiring the use of self-defense, but then again, along comes a situation like this. Check out this busker, all ginned up to look like a silver robotic cowboy. Hey, as long as the folks are dropping a loony or two in the bucket, who are we to judge? In any event, check out his act. Okay, so he's doing a shtick with a kid in the monster cap, and he seems to be having a good time, and everybody on the side stands, they're, they're, they're having a good time too. And then along comes this Lugan. <laughs> Hey, leave him alone, man. <laughs> yeah, Buddy in the purple shirt with the hideous arm tattoos decides to make himself part of the act by probing and prodding the cowboy performer, despite a woman off camera pleading, hey, leave him alone, man. Now, the woman's suggestion is going to turn out to be very prudent advice indeed if only Mr. Purple were to actually heed it. Let's roll some more video footage, shall we? <laughs> All righty, I think this is the part of the tape where the proverbial line is crossed. Actually, it's incinerated. You see, personally speaking, you can poke and prod the menzoid all you like, but the precise nanosecond some halfwit coats his index finger with his own disgusting saliva and, the pr and then proceeds to stick that digit in my ear canal? Well, as Bugs Bunny would say, of course you realize this means war. Let's see how this plays out with Mr. Robot Cowboy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like I said, we, we really can't endorse violence, but oh, I so hope Silver Cowboy Dude knocked that smug look off that Lugan's face right into the next century. What can you say, folks, when all else fails? Sometimes might does make right, especially when dealing with the likes of people who are of the ilk of our moron of the morning.